Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. BTM here, bringing you back to another episode of Civilization V. Um, I lost a little bit of my recording clip, unfortunately, due to a mistake. So the game has progressed. I don't know, maybe ten turns more into it. Um, the only thing that you guys really missed out on seeing was Delhi was indeed captured by um, Napoleon. Uh, we haven't made any progress into attacking Napoleon elsewhere, though. And other than that, not much has changed whatsoever. Uh, we are still marching on to getting um, airplanes and flights. And eventually even atomic weaponry, I think, is kind of our long-term goal. So, there we go. Now it really is our long-term goal. <laughs> so that's kind of what's been going on right now. So thanks for coming back, and let's get on with the action. Um, I guess our biggest goal and our first... Wow. Um, And he is totally, totally attacking us or denouncing us. So I'm going to just trash shock him right back. Take that... Uh, William of Orange. It's not like he can do anything in to us anyway because he's up there and we're down here. So I'm not necessarily too worried about it. Although, let's see. we got units available to attack. Can you attack Orleans? You can attack Orleans. We're going to start bombing Orleans. And wow, that did a truckload of damage. Hopefully we'll be able to take Orleans over fairly quickly. Um, who's got time for that, right? <laughs> I ain't got no time for that. You got to fall. And speaking of not having time for... Uh, that, or specifically this, I should say, um, <laughs> um, one of my favorite things to do in, in uh, Civilization V, which I actually saw in a comment, and it made me so happy, the person said, hey, go get nukes and just start bombing the crap out of everybody, and that, guys, is exactly what we want to do here. I, I am one of those players who, I like to get to the nuclear age, I like to get a city with max production, and I just like to start dropping nukes everywhere I possibly can on the planet. So that's what we're going to hopefully start doing as soon as we get some nuclear technology which we are researching as fast as we can but for right now I think the important thing is that we take out Orleans and continue our quest for world domination because remember if you aren't going for world domination what are you going for right um and I want to attack anyway and did we not capture it or did we capture it or what's going on yep we captured Orleans and yes we're gonna annex the city and look at that it's going to in Increase our unhappiness by 15. Dang. But we'll do it. We're going to soon hopefully have Paris be not resistant. And then when Paris is not resisting, then we're going to get a lot of happiness back. So I think it'll work out. Ooh, they have aluminum. Excellent. We need aluminum. Um, and they have bananas too. Okay. Um, he's fled the city. We're going to move that spy. Um, let's move him to... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll move him to the capital of the Netherlands, Amsterdam. Hopefully we'll be able to steal some stuff from them over there. Um, so fortunately we got Orleans and we're going to keep moving on. This is going to be in resistance though for seven turns because the city is seven levels high unfortunately. So that, that's kind of a bummer for sure. But uh, it'll all work out well. And look at Napoleon's score drop. Despite the fact he's captured Delhi up there, Napoleon is definitely in a very, very bad way. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is really interesting here. I don't like this kind of little, um, dang it, the only word that came to my mind was a really bad word. Um, I don't like this kind of cluster, you guys all know what word I'm thinking of now too. I don't like this kind of cluster of cities, it's kind of annoying me I guess I should say, but um, hopefully we'll be able to take it out, or at least make them all our own cities. Um, that's kind of my goal here. And I'm going to start lining up my artillery because remember my goal here is to attack and get lines to my side, right? Let's see. Wow. Um, they are definitely have a lot of reasons to be angry with us, but he wants to negotiate peace because he is in trouble. Um, let's, see, let's see how many cities he has left. He still has a lot of cities. Um, Rotterdam is his biggest city outside of his capital, which I'm guessing is now, yep, Lyons. So after this, we'll have captured three of his uh, capitals. Um, um, let's build a museum here, I guess. Promote a unit. Excellent. Can we make you better against city or? Oh, you're going to get a hit, unfortunately. Let's move you back. Let's heal you. And you're already... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Let's click back there. Okay. We'll heal you instantly. Oh, I captured a worker. Excellent. All right. So we're going to get this worker. Um, probably going to lose it, unfortunately, just because I just put it right in front of that cannon. We'll see. Um, I wish I wasn't seeing that fight, but I guess I have to for some very stupid reason. Oh, I have a boat in the region. Okay. Um, and wow, looks like Napoleon is not just going to let us walk away with Orleans. Um, at least not easily. So, um, 
let's see what we're going to do. We did get our aluminum mine constructed, so now I'm going to send my uh, worker to Thebes, and we're going to hopefully make a road from Thebes to Paris. It's kind of, our, I guess, our goal now. So let's see if we can get that done. And Wow, it definitely does not look good for us in terms of holding Paris off from this horde of people. Fortunately, we do have artillery nearby, so we will be able to use them to just bombard the crap out of everything, which is excellent, right? So, there we go. And look at that. Those units are pretty endangered now. Um, let's get this worker out of there, though. I don't want to risk losing him. Even though workers aren't necessarily like the most important unit, especially at this point in the game, I do want to actually upgrade and start utilizing some of the territory that uh, Napoleon has for us. And we are fortunately going to get our courthouse on the next turn, so that's excellent. Only one more turn, and let's see how much our happiness increases when we actually get that courthouse. And wow, look at that. It looks like he's going to take Nor New Orleans right back. That's going to be crazy to see. Um... Orleans has been under a truckload of fighting at this point, and look at that. Um, we might not actually even hold Orleans. This will be really interesting. Uh, is our courthouse done yet? Nope, we got to watch this stupid action first. Okay, um, first things first. I'm, I tr built that wonder because I get two great artists from it, and my plan is very simply to do this. Golden Age. Golden Age. Now I have a bunch of Golden Age turns coming, and that was kind of my whole uh, strategy behind that, was just to get more Golden Ages. Unfortunately, though, it looks like Orleans is soon going to go right back into his hands. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is really interesting. All right, I don't know if I'm going to be able to defeat this guy. Let's see, we'll set up for a ranged attack. There we go. Orleans, though, is in a lot of trouble, so it's very. France is not taking this sitting down, that's for sure. Although, you gotta think, if I was William of Orange at this point, seeing France be so weak, I would definitely start seeing if I could pick on France at all. But um, apparently, that is not his mentality, so good for him for being a good person, right? Uh, let's get a, a uh, social policy. We can either get less cost of gold for military units, or wounded military units inflict more damage. Considering that most of my army is m wounded, that's a really good one. However, this one gives me more happinesses from, uh, happinesses. My happinesses. -is -is. Alright, maybe not. Um, this one gets me more happiness. I think we'll go, uh, better fighting when wounded, though, just because we have so many wounded units currently in our ranks at this moment. And, unfortunately, it would appear to me that we are indeed going to, um, lose... Orleans again this turn, which is kind of a disappointment, that's for sure, but I don't know what else we can do about it, unfortunately. So, let's see. Meanwhile, I guess here in our main city, we'll just keep building upgrades as they come along and trying to uh, improve our cities. And wow, look at that. Napoleon never even built a theater or anything in his main city, so we're going to change that right up. And wow, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to hold Orleans, guys. This is really interesting. Also, something else we got to keep in mind is we are potentially in a lot of trouble if um, we're really wrapped up with either Napoleon or William of Orange. Oh, he captured it back. Okay. And look at that. Orleans is now like three populations, a shell of its former city. Um, so he got his city back, that's for sure. Um, there we go. Let's attack that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, wow. So he got Orleans back. And the thing about capturing and recapturing, or I guess playing patty cake with cities, is that um, the more you trade, I guess I should say, the um, the more you trade cities back and forth, the uh, the less uh population there is because it keeps having each time it trades owners so Orleans when I originally attacked it was like 15 or something and now it's no, no nothing even close to what it once was so I mean, I mean take that as a lesson uh, Napoleon don't try to uh, mess with me when I'm attacking the city right so we can I'm gonna choose here by the way to buy a um, I think a musket man and my reason why I want to do this is I want a unit that will be able to capture lions um, we are not going to let him or Napoleon merely just uh, walk off and disappear into the rainbow and hopefully we'll be able to capture this unit too or save it maybe not though unfortunately and I think I hear radio or sirens out in the background so 
that's kind of interesting. <laughs> and look at this. Here we go. So in exchange for peace, he's going to give us a huge amount of gold. He's going to give us a huge amount of luxury resources and horses, and I am going to accept that. You might be wondering why I'm going to do that. And the reason why is I don't, I'm not afraid of him. I really am not afraid of him. So what I really want to do is take this opportunity to um, really get uh, Paris integrated in my city, work on rebuilding up my army, work on getting new technology, because while it may seem like really cool and awesome to attack right now, if we get airplanes and we get nuclear bombs and we stop just dropping bombs on everybody, I mean, it's, it's going to be great. So that's kind of our goal. Um, we're going to offer them peace now so we can drop an atomic bomb on them later, guys. If you're wondering if you trust me in a team game, there's your answer right there. We do, however, have a humongous army, though, just kind of chilling, which is good. Um, alert. Sleep. Sleep. Excellent. Yeah, so um, all's going pretty well at this point. We managed to get done everything we need to get done, so in terms of it dealing with Napoleon. And I know we didn't de deliver the death stroke, but really, I really, really want to get to... Um, I really want to get to atomic era and I want to be able to just bomb cities and that's going to be very helpful to have airplanes in general actually when we're attacking uh, Isabella because Isabella is on an island the country was tied together by radio we all experienced the same heroes and comedians and singers they were giants indeed a and wow death is a tragedy a million deaths is a statistic and we are in the modern era, so congratulations to us for making it. Let's build a trading post. Um, send you to alert. Okay. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Let's deal with our spy. And we'll move you to one of our cities, Egypt. Or Memphis, I should say. Excellent. There we go. So our goal is basically to be able to take out these cities as fast as possible. And that's really going to be a huge advantage of having atomic bombs because... Um, and bombers in general because then you can have a boat out in the ocean drop a city on it pretty much you have its population you destroy all the upgrades he has and then you um, can just uh, send one unit in to capture it and he's denouncing me and let's see why um, well we're a warmongering menace to the world which I, that kind of hurts me I mean I feel like I'm a really nice guy so that, that's really hard um, we built wonders they coveted we covet the covet lands we currently own they've denounced us we had a declaration of friendship, and then we declared war on them, and we stole their capital. However, I would like to think that we weren't friends, but we were more just of acquaintances, so I am definitely disappointed that we are not necessarily friends, but uh, unfortunately, we're just going to kill this unit. I'm getting really annoyed at having that city state mad at me. Um, there we go. So, I, I mean, I think we should be friends. I, I don't know why he's mad at me. I think I've been a very, very nice guy, so... Oh, wow. Excellent. One more happiness for each policy. And we currently have 45 happiness overall. I cannot lie. I have never, ever in this game had as much happiness as I do now. Um, I'm going to build a hydro plant. Even though that's going to use some of my aluminum, we have a ton of tiles on this river here. So I think that would be a very, very smart choice. And let's build a library here and really focus on improving Paris as our own city. So our real goal, as I said, is to get nuclear weapons, and that's what we're going to do. Um... Honestly, I don't see why in a game like this, if you can get some nuclear weapons and you have enough of this level military to survive an attack, I, I don't I don't think it's wise right now to keep um, kind of pressing on with the mundane war strategies because because we can beat him this way. Um, I'm just going to build a lot of the one-turn buildings. That way I just get Paris like really built up quickly. So that's kind of what I'm going for right now. But um, as I was saying, like because... I have such a technological well that war is so terrible. Oh, we should grow too fond of it. Profound words. See guys, I'm not growing fond of war. I I'm a wise man over here. So that's what I'm doing. No. <laughs> As I was saying, I just at this level of the game, our our real goal is to get to um having as much technology as possible and then using the upper level technology to win the game and to win the fights as fast and as brutally as possible. So we're not really going to bother, I guess, with the mundane, even though we do have a humongous amount of standing army and artillery. Um, why use artillery if we can drop a bomb on them? You know what I mean? So that is my mentality here. Now, I really want to be allies with this city. Um, let's see. They're militaristic, though, so I'm not sure I want to be allies with them. Maybe with this city-state. Um, 
They're cultured, which means they'll give us culture if we become allies with them. And they'll give us ivory. But um, I don't know if I want to become allies with them either. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do, guys. We're kind of in a little bit of a crossroads here, if you can tell. Um, and I'm sorry, there's people talking in the background. It's all good. Um, yeah, this is really interesting. I mean, we've got choices here. And, oh, there we go. They did it. Napoleon and Orange are fighting. This is excellent for us. Um, this is excellent for several reasons. And I guess the biggest one is they're going to waste their resources and their time attacking each other relative to instead of attacking me. And that's exactly what we want. So hopefully um, a f several cities that they have will trade hands back and forth. As long as they do that, that'll be excellent. We can sit back, watch them pick each other apart. And uh-oh, you got to be kidding me. Industrialization based on machinery, already referred to as a carriage. Okay, sorry. Uh, wow. I'm going to talk to her right now. And I'm going to discuss it with her. Don't settle new cities near us. So I'm going to publicly denounce her. Um. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be very firm with Isabella. If she wants to go to war with me, I will take her to the war and back. I will I will not even um, hesitate in the slightest to go fight her. And we have some coal on our map, so I think what we're going to do... Do we have a worker? Where is this worker? Can I... Nope. Where, where'd you go, worker? <laughs> I, I tried pressing my space bar to see if it would take me to the worker, but unfortunately it seems that it did not. So let's see if... Oh, there's my worker. Okay. Um, And I have a worker over there too. Okay. So unfortunately can't do that, but uh, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world in the slightest. Alrighty, so um, fortunately they're fighting, and we got to be strong with Isabella, as I said. I mean, she's she's putting people right on our borders, a city right there. I mean, honestly, I should just declare war on her and take out that city. The only reason why I'm not going to is I just don't feel like doing that right this turn. Um, I want to kind of let Napoleon and uh, Napoleon and the Dutch play out a little bit. Napoleon and William play out and see what happens. So that's what I think we're going to do. And look at that. Isabella is opportunistic as ever, declaring war on Napoleon. And that really surprised me. It is surprising, I should say. Like, is she going to bring over a huge army? Um, we live only to discover beauty. All else is a form waiting. Indeed. I mean, this is actually very bad now. We might actually have to declare war on um Isabella, because if she's declaring war on Napoleon, if she captures, let's say, one of Napoleon's cities, she's then going to have a foothold on our on our continent, which was something she didn't have before, which was something that we kind of, I don't want to say rubbed in her face, but it was definitely something we were aware of and kind of, hey, look, we're not in danger because of this fact. So um, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on or thinking about that. And unfortunately, we have to watch through more of these little bit of graphics because of um, having people in these cities. So... Uh, my apologies for having my spies placed in war zones. I guess it's the best place you have spies, though. Um, oh, sweet. We're going to be able to build ironclad soon. That'll be awesome. I love ironclads. Um, I really do love ironclads. But we really got to look at uh, Isabella here. This is not good at all. I, I'm not I'm not necessarily happy that she's right there. Um, somebody in the comments said it would be really funny if Isabella got mad and... Uh, Anyone you don't get along with is clearly worth building a friendship with. Give Spain my regards. So, does anyone you don't get along with is clearly worth building a friendship with? I'm just going to denounce him back. I don't I don't even know what he said, so I'm just going to be rude back. And that's generally it. Speaking of being rude to people, have you ever had one of those moments when somebody tells you something and you don't know what they said? And then you're like, excuse me, what would you say? You know? And then... They say it again, but you don't catch it again. And then that happens maybe one or two more times. And then you're like, well, this is embarrassing. So you just pretend like you understood. One of those moments happened to me today. And it was, it was really weird. So I just felt like mentioning that. There's always awkward moments. And I, I bet on the international relations stage, it's even worse. So, um, indeed. And look at that. Wow. Napoleon's going straight for Amsterdam. But it looks like Amsterdam is in absolutely no danger of falling. Even though it appears like Napoleon or uh, William is defending it with some outdated units, and look at that! Wow, Amsterdam is going to get it now. Um, in terms of gold, though, look at how much gold I have relative to everybody else. I have everybody else combined times ten the amount of gold. The so of the West hope that by means of steam communication, all the world will become as one family. 
Indeed. So we're definitely killing people in terms of just sheer wealth. And I guess it's just because we focused on gold in our trading posts and it's going very well. So, um, hmm. I don't know what to say. Let's see. Okay, Napoleon made peace with some city states, but uh, how's Napoleon's war against um, Orange going? Because, I mean, if Napoleon can beat Orange, hypothetically, if Napoleon can beat Orange, then Napoleon could be as strong as Isabella. And that'll make this world, both of them being pretty strong. And then I, of course, will be the strongest, but possibly it'll be a two on one situation, at which point they'll be able to possibly beat me, although I doubt it just because of the amount of gold I have. And I'm actually not going to spend my gold, I think. Um, we need two police stations to build that. All right. We're going to focus on technology then, I guess. Um, hmm. Sorry, I'm thinking. I'm, like, trying to figure out here. I mean, it's almost like a game of chess, right? If Napoleon can kill Orange and integrate those cities, he, Napoleon will be absolutely absurdly massive, even though I have Paris. Although, I did just get that trade route, so that kind of puts me as a big dog here. You know what I mean? Um, hmm. Let's get something built over there. Ah, I'm trying to think. Like, is there a threat of me losing to both Napoleon and Isabella in the next game? I don't think so. I think I can beat both of them. I mean, look at this. We have almost 10,000 gold sitting. I think I can drop bombs and buy units and hold off cities endlessly. I'm not worried about that at all. Um, although maybe I should be. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should be worried? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think a combination of both of them can defeat me. I feel like at this point, with just all the defenses I have and everything, I, I don't feel like I should be worried. But Isabel is creeping up there in score. I mean, she's getting pretty close. And uh, Napoleon, if he can somehow integrate William in, Napoleon will be very, very big on his own right. So we'll definitely have to wait and see, right? So I think that's where we're going to leave it this game. Let me know in the comments if you think I should A, attack Napoleon again, B, attack Isabella or C, declare war on everybody. And what? Did she get the city? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so let me know about that. I will do what you guys say. The majority of the comments will determine my future policy. How about that, guys? That's what we'll do this game. So if you think I should, again, attack Napoleon, attack Isabella, attack William of Orange, or attack all of them, let me know. I'm game for anything. Let's make this interesting, and let's see how the world develops in our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um... Until next time, guys, happy hunting. BTM out.